So we got a shell and tube heat exchanger here. Um, and I'm just gonna run through the parts real quick. So you've got your water here, um, and it has both a pipe and a hose to add flow in. And the water will then come out, and it's going through this pump here, comes through, and we run it through a heat exchanger here. Now the heat exchanger on the shell side has uh, steam that comes in, that's pressurized. And so the water then just comes up, flows back through and back into the tank. And then there's a couple valves to help you control flow rate, um, flow in the tank, as well as pressure, uh, pressure input itself. Now when you're controlling this experiment, it's all done from the computer. You have to jump onto Internet Explorer. That's the only browser that will work with this. Um, you right click and then you, ex you, uh, you request control of VI. And once you've done that, then you can turn on the main power by clicking that button. Um, and then things will start to begin and you'll be able to turn on the water, the cool water, uh, once you've done that. Um, then you turn on the pump switch so that it goes through the system. Um, and the only other really tricky part about this is um, when you're putting the set point for the steam, um, you can't actually get above 37 PSIG, so you wanna, want to put it on manual control so that you can put it higher than that. It can go higher than that, but for some reason the uh, automatic set point won't allow it, so just note that. Okay, so I'm going to run you through a quick startup of the heat exchanger lab. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, like Joel said, turn on your uh, pump and your valve. So turn on the main control we'll show that here, okay? You put the pump switch. And then make sure you do that before you turn on the water or else you will overflow your tank. So after that, you'll turn on the water here. And then turn on your hose. So you can just follow the hose back to wherever the valve is. And then you want to wait about two to three minutes, maybe three to four minutes, to let the water go through the heat exchanger before you turn on the steam. And so then once you let your uh, heat exchanger kind of warm up, or cool down I guess, then you go over to the steam valve, and it's just a hand valve and you just flip it on right here. And then you're all set, you fix it up three to five minutes. Alright, so some tips for beginners. Um, I would say definitely get the math pad started right away. Um, be aware of the temperature that you're evaluating all of your properties at. Um, you can get properties off of the dipper and so forth. Um, we spent a long time trying to get the math pad to work with matrices and so forth. Um, and it gets really hairy, so I'd recommend just going one at a time for getting the matrices with math pad. It'll be about just as fast. Um, in the end, if not faster. And when you're shutting it down, um, when you shut off the steam first, let the water run for a few minutes so that the system can cool down. Okay. Very good. Thanks, guys.